Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today I want to talk about something that I rarely talk about because it's not our job. And that is plaster rings, stucco rings, mud rings. They're the same thing, uh, all mean the same. Uh, anyhow, what we're doing here is we're getting ready to stucco this and the fella didn't have the, the rings on it. So I called him and said, hey, can turns out he says well I'll do it next week and I said well hardware store right around the corner so I went and picked these up uh, generally I don't I keep a lot of stuff on this monster truck of mine right here but sometimes I even have these but this time I didn't anyway let me point out something guys what happens now we didn't lap this uh, if we did I would have caulked this edge right here but anyway past inspection what happens if I build an inch right here and then they put the light on I'll tell you what will happen. Stucco is uh, cementitious. It's porous. Water will go straight through that and it's, it could last 10, 15 years or the water can go in there and short these wires out, cause a fire, things like that. Usually uh, the majority of times I have this issue is with an electrical box. Say somebody have an electrical box down below and it's inset and I always have to tell the people man you got to pull that thing out seven eighths of an inch or to make it easy for you guys one eighth one solid inch just remember a solid inch now, I've heard this a lot of times everybody says gee whiz well those mud rings stucco rings uh, plaster rings whatever you want to call them they're usually called plaster rings they're half inch and they say well what do we do well I'll, I'll give you an idea of a couple things you can do guys number one is if you put it over the wire and this wire here is just sticking out a little bit too much. If you put it over the wire, the wire will fur it out another quarter inch and it'll bring it out to about an inch. That's fine. If you don't have the wire and it's just on paper, fur it out with some uh, strips. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put this guy on. I'm just gonna screw it into the holes that it should be in. And bear with me here. Let's see. All right, gonna screw that guy in right here and screw this one in. And I'll tell you one of the most important things with doing this now, a light usually will have the uh, bolts on the side, not up and down because you can't get on the top. Now notice with this big space here, it's out a solid inch. Now here's what you gotta do guys. You gotta put a good caulking and embed this this particular caulk in here is a sealant as well as an excellent waterproof caulking. And what I want to do is I want to caulk around the whole perimeter of this plaster ring because we don't want any water getting in here. Uh, last time I had this issue was about Christmas. And I was telling a good friend of mine, Larry Bielman, I said, hey buddy, you got a lot of electrical outlets and they're all inset and what's going to happen is water when it rains all these electrical outlets are going to get wet and he says well I'll call my electrician electrician come stop by the job young guy about 30 and he says oh well we do that because we never know what the plasters want and I said we want technically an inch and he says well that'll work what I have and I said no it won't and anyway we uh, Got into a little discussion, and Larry says, don't worry, Kirk, your father's on his way. Father came, and he kind of repeated what the son said. Later, I just walked away, and I said, Larry, you know, um, who will be called back if we get electrical short? You and me both, and we'll both get in trouble. We'll have to fix this. So the next day I came out, and Larry had all the rings on it, and they were all caulked just like this, guys. We need an inch. I remember Larry telling me, man, Kirk, I hope you never give me that look you gave those guys. And I said, what look was that? He said, man, you are so pissed. And I thought, well, you tell one person something and then you tell the father and they both say the same thing. Reminded me of the old saying, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Anyhow, this is the proper way to do it, guys. Now, that's not the prettiest thing in the world, but guess what? When they put their light on here, and the stucco is on here and it's yeah it's going to be painted and some folks might have the argument well it's going to get painted so it won't leak this is the way you do it especially when you go with outlets around the bottom of the house 
Anyhow, guys, I thought I'd point that out since we're in this situation right here. All right, guys, I'll show you what, we, what this mud ring's supposed to look like when the stucco's done. Now, you see, the stucco comes flush to that, and then the light goes on these uh, bolts right there. That's what it's supposed to look like, guys. Anyhow, I wasn't going to... I was going to end that video back showing that, but I thought I'd show you the whole thing. If you really want to see how this finish is done, we've shown this a lot of times in other videos. Click right here. And Jay and I did a, a couple walls showing how to achieve this finish. Anyway, my name's Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Blasting. Nothing but the fun stuff. Clean up now. As usual, we'll see you guys on the next one.